Today we're making glow-in-the-dark baths that are activated with UV black lights. Now these baths are painted with phosphorescent paint and are super easy to do. These baths will look amazing in both daytime and nighttime settings, so join me for this super simple tutorial. To begin making our glow-in-the-dark baths, we need plywood underlayment. Now this isn't like a regular sheet of plywood, this is much thinner. We could also use insulation foam board. The issue is, we're going to be placing these baths on an exterior wall, so you don't want them flying around in windy or rainy conditions, so I'm definitely going to use this thin plywood underlayment. We're going to cut it in half so it's easier to work with. They sell these in sheets of 4 foot by 8 foot wide, so it's a really nice size, you can get a lot of baths. What we're going to do is we're either going to use a projector, which I have one, to project the bat figures on it or print them out, cut them out, and then <laughs> use a marker to outline them. Since it's still daylight, I'm going to use the printout method, but the projector method is easier. I'm going to leave a link for the projector that I use in the bio of this video. So this is a super simple and easy project. I'm super excited about it. Let's get to it. Before we continue with this tutorial, I wanted to show you all the first book that I've written. It's called Little Olive and the Wally Bat, and it's rated for kids ages 2 to 6 years old. It follows a brave little olive that gets lost and is found by a very helpful brown bat. This is the first book I've ever written, and I'm super excited about it. It's available on Amazon via paperback or Kindle. So if anyone wants to support me or read it to their kiddos, go check it out. The link is in the bio of the video, Little Olive and the Wally Bat on Amazon. Now let's get back to this amazing tutorial. So I printed out two different bats. I've already cut this one out. Actually missing a part of the wing. So once you cut it out, uh, you grab your marker and just outline it really easily. Then you cut it out and bam, you have your first bat. And we're gonna use this bat as the template for the rest of them. So I have two different style bats. I'm gonna cut this one out as well. And I'm going to start drawing them and cutting them out. We're going to use the entire board, and once we're done, we can paint them. Now that we've cut all our bats, it's time to paint them. I've cut about 25 bats, and the cool thing about it is this is the original one, and this is one of the last ones. As you can see, the size is drastically different. And it happens because when I use the original to outline it, the one I cut, I use it as the new outline, and so on and so forth. And each one you cut is gradually bigger. If you want them all to be the same size, use your original one as your stencil. But I love it that all of them are different. They're all different sizes. They go from small to large. So definitely, if you want that, just every single bat you cut, use that cut as your outline for the next one and so on and so forth. So anyways, we have uh, several different colors of phosphorescent paint. Now this paint is only activated with a black light. It's not glow in the dark paint. So when you're looking for paint, make sure it is phosphorescent paint, which you'll need a black light. And I'll link the black light that I'm using below. You don't want a 10 watt black light. You need a very good black light to illuminate this. So this paint is from Wildfire Lighting and they sell like eight different colors. I absolutely love them. So a, one little jar is more than enough for any of your projects. So we're gonna paint them up and then we're going to put the attachment piece in the back so we can hang them up on the wall and that's it. We're done with it. So let's get to painting these bats. For the last step, we need to put some picture hangers on the back of our bats. Now I bought this pack of 50, very inexpensive, and they're just picture hangers. I'm not sure if you can see them. They're picture hangers and they come with tiny screws. And what we're gonna do is with the teeth, the teeth side down, because it's gonna hang like that, we're just gonna find the center on the upper part of the back, around where the neck would be. And then we're gonna get our drill and just stick them. 
So I'm not gonna go all the way through because this is very thin wood. So it'll just pierce the other side. So we just went in about halfway and that's more than enough so that we can get our siding hooks like this. This goes right into the siding and it'll attach just like that. And there we go. We're ready to go put them on the wall. Next, you're gonna need a black light, but don't get a low wattage black light. I'm using a 100 watt black light rated for exterior use. These are LED lights. So maybe get an 80, get a 100, but don't get anything under an 80 watt. The more powerful it is, the more it will light up. So definitely check out the description of this video for all the supplies I used. You may have noticed that some of our bats were painted in pink, reds, and purples, but were not shown in the initial opening video. And that is because pink, red, purple does not brightly light up when lit with a black light. Despite me using phosphorescent paint in those colors, it was a dud when I tried to apply them on a wall with black light. It did not shine at all. So I changed it up and I only used green, yellow, and orange. So that's a tip for you.